What's up, nomads? Hey, what's up? We TikToking? What up, nomads, vagabonds? What are the other ones? Nomad, vagabond, roamer, wandering, wanderers. Call me what you will. We're on the Suron. It's dirty as hell. I took it up north. I let my hillbilly friends ride it. In a rainstorm. They're all gas heads. They were all like, wow, it's cool. Do they make a faster version? Oh. Oh. Yeah, they do. It's called the Stark Varg. Uh, today, we are going to Texas Roadhouse. Hell yeah, that's a vlog. Texas Roadhouse, we're going on a date. Uh, it's cold up here. It's cold up here. I was debating whether I should head down south before... Oh, can we go in between these guys? Not at all. Before or after Halloween, because in Minnesota, they have something called the zombie pub crawl, which is, you know, cool the first time you go there. It's a bunch of people that love zombies, and uh, they love drinking. And it's cool for about an hour and a half. Okay, after this guy. We're kind of in a hurry. It's cool for like the first hour and a half when the sun is up. And then uh, and then it's like everyone's drunk and they're all, hey, zombies, and it gets out of hand. They shake, they're like shaking cars and they actually think they're zombies. And it's a bunch of cover bands playing uh, uh, the Cranberries. Um, yeah, I don't know, it could be good content, but it's cold. One thing I never bought for my bus is some sort of heating element. I complain about the, the heat so much. I didn't even comprehend the cold. I was like, oh, it's not going to be that cold. I'll, I'll, I'll be happy when it's cold. No, 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 no. It's cold. It's hard to sleep. We had a good four days of perfect van life weather. That's, that's all over. That's all over with. Damn. Supposed to do something over here. Damn, there's people on the bike path in this weather. Can you believe it? Dogs everywhere. Yeah, I went up north. I went up north to a town called Cambridge, went on a hinge date. And then since I was so close to my hometown, I call it my hometown, it's not my it's not where I was born, but it's where I went to high school and I have a lot of friends out there, but I partied with all my my hillbilly high school friends and it was pretty fun. Oh, I'm layered up. I'm layered up and I'm still too cold. And I think it's like not even really, it's not even like Minnesota cold. It's like 62 or something. I got my ninja suit on, my air blaster ninja suit. I got a hoodie on and I got a nice puffy jacket on. Hey, geese. I have a feeling that I'm going to be late. My Onyx is having some issues 
with its uh, cell balancing. I, I don't know if it's because I have like modified settings. It's in like semi-sicko mode with a one second throttle delay. Uh, and I ride it like that all the time and I get great miles on it. But as you saw from my moped vlog, oh no, turn left where? It just says turn left. Uh, as you see from my moped vlog, it died after about 20 miles, which is like half the range. One of my cells is, um, was like bad. I checked the app. There's an app where you can uh, check your little cells. And I had one that was like, I mean, they're all unbalanced. I wasn't balancing my, you know, you, you live in a bus. I don't just want to plug in my bike all day and just have it balancing like when I lived in a in a home. So usually I charge it up and when it's done, it's done. But I should have had the app, I should have had the 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 BMS set to always balancing, not just when charging. So what I'm doing right now is it's in balancing mode. I'm letting it sit for days and days and days. And then I'm gonna have to charge it slower, possibly, with a slower charger, not 10 amps. I don't know. So, fingers crossed that my Onyx battery is not toast tip for you onyx guys get the i don't even know what it's called zhao jing bms management app i'll put it down below but get that app buy this pro version for seven dollars and switch your bms to ba balancer on um balance only when charging off and keep an eye on your cells. Burn. Other than that, uh, Super 73 is running fine. I just got a bunch of new stuff for it. I got uh, brake pads, number plates. I'm excited to see those and some new gloves. These ex same exact gloves. I just got them again because I like them so much. Um, so Super is fine. Uh, Onyx hopefully will be good. I just ride my Suron a lot because it's so easy to pull in and out of the bus. And it's just, I don't know, wheelies. We gotta get wheelies down, don't we? We've only been practicing for a year and a half. We gotta, we can do about a 10 second wheelie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's something, right? Hit that like button. But I see Southern, uh, uh, Southern states in our near future. Why buy a cheap Chinese diesel heater when you can just drive south for hundreds of miles. I never understood the fake deer in the in the lawn ornaments. Is that to lure real deer or is it to is it to make people driving by think that you have actual deer in your in your lawn? And is that something that you want? Deer in your lawn. Oh, 
Okay, we are leaving Texas Roadhouse. Delicious, delicious little lunch there. Uh, may or may not have lost some footage on the ride out here. Guarantee these kids say do a wheelie. Or just completely ignore me. Don't even see me or hear me. Uh, yeah, ask me if I'm mad. Ask me if I'm mad if my footage is gone. From my new GoPro. GoPro Hero 9. Recorded maybe two videos with this thing. Loses footage. And then I clicked power off and it just sat there saying power off. The whole time. Ugh. Ooh, boy. Hey, do you like $400 cameras that make really amazing video sometime? Is your footage not that valuable to you? Then try GoPro. Okay, we're at 49, 48%. 48% we have are you gonna see me I hope you're not having a good day watch where you're going kidding I hope your day is going good too get off the phone there might be electric dirt bikes on the sidewalk um, so I'm on this date Everything is going great. But the most distracting piece of artwork I've ever seen in my entire life is behind her. And in this piece of artwork, there's a anthropomorphized, I hope I'm saying that word correctly, alligator on an Articat snowmobile. And he's shredding. He's shredding past an ice house. For you southerners that don't know what an ice house is, it's basically a tiny house that you set on the ice. And then you, what you do is you get drunk with all your friends and you put a fishing pole. You get your fishing pole and you fish in the winter and through a hole, through a little tiny hole in the ice instead of on a boat where the weather's good and the sun is out. No, 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 you gotta keep fishing. Even when the, when the lakes freeze over, you still gotta keep fishing. So you cut a hole in the ice and you fish. Anyways, there's an armadillo in the fish house saying, what's up to the alligator or crocodile on the Articat snowmobile or snow machine if you're from Canada. Okay, this is whatever. It's kind of large for how distracting this thing is. Extremely large artwork. The biggest piece of art in this whole entire restaurant. Okay, but here's the kicker. There are other animals in this, in this piece of art. There's other animals. There are raccoons. There's a moose, and then there's something else. What else was there? Deer or something? Other animals. Not anthropomorphized. Anthropomorphized. Hit this again. And I just, I just couldn't stop staring at this thing. I was trying to listen to what she was saying, but I'm like, wait a minute. No, we need to focus here because th there are non -anthrop There's real animals in this painting with the cartoon animals. Does that... I know it's behind your head, but I, you have to realize that that's just weird. That doesn't make sense. What sort of gamma radiation did this armadillo and this alligator come in contact with that gave them cartoon skin and the ability to smile? Where's my footage?
Where's my 15 minutes of footage that I lost? Hmm? Guys, I know I talk about diesel a lot and most of you probably don't care, but I bought 28 gallons of diesel when I was up north for $4.69 a gallon. Sure, that's outrageous, of course. Sure, that's unacceptable and inflation should be dealt with appropriately. Uh, but that's the cheapest I've ever spent on diesel, I gotta say. Super excited to have a full tank of diesel for only $128 or whatever the hell. All right, so my phone is telling me to hop on 169. That's not right. Perhaps, and hey, we'll stop by this fucked up tree right here. Perhaps I didn't put bicycle instruction. Dude. Why are you not help, like helping me out here? Dude, I want to go this way, but you're being weird. Let's shut off. Let's shut maps off. Fuck you, maps. Fuck you, maps. Get out of here. Oh, easy. Just need a little reboot. Like all technology, just like all new, brand new technology, all you have to do, shut it off, turn it back on, and then let it work for another four months before you have to go back to the store and buy another one.